intersect CD at E. Now, in the past, I did it this way. I wrote this notation, AB intersect CD at E. That's actually the notation. OK? Now, this one sentence here say a long, long, long thing. A, B, segment A, B, intersect C, D, F, E. OK? Uh, uh, and then B, C, B, C, E, this angle here, is congruent to D, A, E. Now, are these two triangles not congruent, uh, are similar? Yes. Yes, because you have another one for that angle, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is, the problem is, okay, now, and then I give that AB is 15. AB is 15. If this is X, this would be 15 minus X. Okay? And then CD is 20. CD is 20. So if this is Y here, this is 20 minus Y. AD is 4 times BC. If this is 1, this is 4. Basically, that gives us the ratio. Now, let me stop here. Professor, when do you know to assign more than just one variable to a problem? Like, just how can you tell that would be useful? Mm. Can, I mean, can you do this with just one variable, or is that, would that yeah. be possible? In the past, I give you only one variable, but if you see this case here, it's different from the one I gave you before. Now, take a look, take a look. Uh, you will not realize that you need two variables until you actually draw the triangle. Mm -hmm. The similar triangles. This is CBE here, and then the one here will be, uh, of course, this part is E, but what are these two? A, what is this? A. A or B? A. A. This is B. Right? Okay? Now. Uh, if this part is x, that's the one we are looking for, then this is 15 minus x. Notice that they are not on the same position. That's the problem. They are not on the corresponding sides. If they are on the corresponding side, if the 15 minus x also here, and we already know the ratio, this is 1 to 4, then that's actually easy to solve. Right? Imagine if I move this here. 4 over 1 equals to x over that. Right? But no, that's not the case here. That's not the case here. It's here. Gotcha. Okay? And uh, likewise, when I give, that's why I give you another information. If this is y, this is 20 minus y. Now, let's do. Notice that this triangle. The length of this triangle, all the size of this triangle, is four times the length of the size of this triangle. Four to one, x over y, this over that. So, four to one, or should I do one to four? Four to one equals to x over y equals to 20 minus y over 15 minus x. Now let's separate this. I will deal with this first. 4 over 1 equals to x over y. Therefore, 4y equals to x. Focus on this. At the same time, 4 over 1 also equals to 20 minus y over 15 minus x. Multiply, I get 60 minus 4x equals to 20 minus y. Okay? 